Onivia. League of Legends highlights, powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on esports. Front line aside from Zig, who will be most likely itemizing for kind of you know like that, that pseudo off tank damage build on the Kled, and a very strong front line from the side. Santorin of making his way down into this bot side here through the brush, able to get into it, and GCU are going to pull the trigger. Yeah, Gold Clan, you know, trying to capitalize it. They burn the flash from his special. The explosive charge though was popped, and it's actually Braum that gets first blood. Side of the map, there's no additional wards down here for the side of P1, and once again, Rakar is going to start this off the flash, and the Trissec knocks him backwards. Arrow's going to get the wild growth, but he's going to up being cut down the kill goal goes over to a car and mike young was in the area but not yeah. able to. very interesting kind of change here uh-oh uh -oh. arrow oh, walk no. up car is jumping in he's <laughs> chain of crusher wants it landing down the mad life but now solo's joined the fray and ricara two zero and one oh god the tale of two games huh yeah. game stealers Shen comes in as well, and they disengage that fight. But now Mad Life caught out. Mad Life kind of trying to go on a solo warding mission, flashing over the Baron pit wall, but he's going to go down. Mike Young gets his first kill of the game. This is a situation where there's a snap. Quirky's made it down to the Tribarch and Zig, posturing super aggressively against Solo underneath this tower. Now it's going to be Ryu who's drawn the tower. They're poking down on They don't even need the package or damage just to get Ryu in range, and they take down Solo. Well, you're up in objective, you're even in gold, and you might not even be able to get this in Scott Free as P1 are trying to get aggressive in here. Madlife can pop the Braum ultimate, actually gonna get polymorphed as well, so he can't wind up flashing away. The Shen ultimate saying United will not channel through as Mike Young takes up another kill for P1, and they barely defend their tower. A nice look there. For GCU, Command Shockwave is gonna be repelled away from by Mike Young. Baron about 2,000 HP, but Mike Young's being chunked out. Ryu not going over the wall. P1 don't go and commit for the fight, and GCU here at United, that's gonna wind up being Zig coming in with the Kledals, but the charge comes in and they lock down on the Solo who's in the front line with Mad Life. P1 looking for the fight, the Chain of Corruption goes down. Solo winds up putting up the uh, dodge zone, but he's gonna wind up having to flash away. Special has to use the Wild Grip on himself. Now Zig's getting locked up in the front side, tries to flash out of the Cataclysm, but lands into the wall. Ryu is there to provide some extra damage though, as he takes down Santorin. And now Gold Coin Yannick has to try to flash and dash the heck out of there. P1 are chasing him down. Arrow still very healthy in the front line, as I say that. He wants it going down, but Ryu flashes forward, goes on to a killing spree, picks up the kill on the fly. Once Dream again, out. they have Mad Life being chunked out. The Unbreakable Shield will barely stay alive as now Solo gives up his life as Mike Young goes on a killing spree. P1 chasing down on the Mad Life. It's a four for none for P1. Ryu flashing forward, getting damage down. It's actually had to lose that chart because another fight's about to break out. They caught on to Mike Young. That's about the Gargoyle stun plate as well. Wild growth getting channeled as well, but Santorin right leaps into the back line with a cataclysm. Shutdown coming out from Fly, and he still has the command shockwave available. Lane tower, they try to catch on the Ryu, but he Valkyries out. GCU put the focus back down into the Baron. It's about two and a half thousand HP. P1, they might have to try to commit to a fight. Smite is their command shockwave with Zig wants to go into the back line. They locked up on the Santorin and Solo. Shen is gonna want it going down. Arrow and Ryu are so low, but still alive. Arrow will fall, but they trade for Rakara and P1 are capitalizing on this Baron play from GCU. A quadra kill picked up for Corky. Fly is the only one left alive and reuse on the hunt for a penta the last baron buff is there for fly one more rocket the boss bomb oh. stops the recall ryu can you do it you got an ardent sensor on you penta kill for ryu ryu comes up huge in the baron but oh, excuse me the <laughs> Inhibitor down on the boss side. They're able to meet up with super creeps and end the game. Once again, it's Ryu who decides when P1 is going to come out victorious. Jumping out to a 2-0 advantage in this best of five. Phoenix 1 coming out ahead. There's the man of the day on your screen right now. Basically responsible for both victories. Ryu having a great performance so far in this series on that Corky pit.